Today, we are building a house in The Sims, but every room is a random size, but there's a twist. Every room type is also randomized. To do this, I have these fun little dice here that I'll be able to roll and it'll randomize our dimensions for the room. Example, nine by eight. I also have this wheel, which has a bunch of different room types, like primary bedroom, primary bathroom, dining room, kitchen, living room, all on here, and we'll spin. So we'll choose the size first and then figure out what room it is going to be. Let's start out. I'm going to start with our first room. Let's roll the dice we have an eight by six room and it is going to be hopefully something good for an eight by six room it is going to be a really big hallway our eight by six room is going to be a massive hallway that's what we've got let's do this this might take me a minute because i'm gonna have to count i don't know how to count properly one two three four five six seven eight one two three four four, five, six. All right, that is an eight by six room and it's a freaking hallway. Let's get some lighting in there first so it's not so dark for you guys to see. It's actually kind of good, right? Because the rooms will branch off of here. Hopefully it'll work. I'm trying to stay positive. <laughs> it's a big ass hallway. I can't change anything in the rooms. I can't go back and like change things around. So I have to figure out something good to begin with. So maybe we could do like, I don't know, like some windows like here and here. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Let's do, just plain white doors then. I guess I'm gonna do it centered because I don't really know. I don't know how it's gonna be set. Maybe we could put this there. Maybe that goes into a living room or something, hopefully. This is hard. I did not think through how hard this is gonna be. Let's figure out some flooring. You know we're gonna use it, so why even bother? Let's just put it down. We know it's gonna happen. What are we putting in this hallway? Let's maybe find bench or something. We have this one from Horse Ranch. No, I feel like we should go with something like this. I feel like this is kind of nice. This is also from Horse Ranch, but it's a little less rusty. Sticky. A big old piano. Let's go with a nice grand piano, like right here. We should maybe also change these doors. Let's make these all dark so I don't regret it later. Let's get a nice rug to put under there. I kind of want to do a circle rug. I feel like a circle would look good. Like the beige of this. About like that, the green. We've got kind of green going on elsewhere, so maybe that's okay. We've got a bench over here, but I'm tempted to change it now. I was interested in using a bench from Horse Ranch because I just got Horse Ranch, but now I'm thinking maybe that doesn't really look great. Maybe we could go with something a little more fancy. I don't think I like that one. Where is the one from Crystal Creations? I think that's what we need. We've got this nice couch here, and we should have like a nice green swap. Do I go with brown, or is that too... But but I feel like the green's a little too green, no? Maybe it's okay. Tempted to change this to black. I don't know, the brown wood is kind of nice though. Maybe we can do some end tables over here. Let's see what we've got. We've got these from Horse Ranch, which I actually don't think are terrible. So this is kind of nice as well. And I feel like does kind of fit the style we're kind of using here. Maybe I could shrink it down a bit and then we can use it. And then we could put maybe like a lamp or something on it. Let's see what tabletop lamps do we have that would fit nicely here. Maybe a oil lamp, would that be weird? Maybe we could do that. I think that looks kind of nice and then we can do like a nice tall plant over here. Hopefully we have something good. Maybe this wouldn't be terrible. Or is that too modern, do you guys think? I wish it was in like fancier pot. That looks terrible though. It's just not the ideal plant that I would use there. I want to use this somewhere. We have to. I love it so much. I don't know where we're going to put this. Maybe I can go like in this corner. We have like really high ceilings, so it'll look kind of good in here. Come back. Where'd you go? How did you get up there? Why are you levitating? What if we put, I guess, some pictures up on the walls to fill in some space? Maybe like a nice painting over here would look good. Can I do something like that? I don't think that's bad. Maybe we can do another little seat over there. Or is there a nice plant that could go on the ground there? Could I do the same thing? Or could I use that bench here? Is that weird? And raise those up a bit? I'm not crazy about that. I do like the idea of having a bench here, but then I feel like this looks really weird. I'm wondering if maybe we shouldn't do this seat and maybe we should do a sitting area, like. Two separate seats and a table in the middle. Maybe I could fit that in there. Let's try that. Let's see what nice chairs do I have. I have these. I'm not sure these really fit the vibe, though this green is kind of nice. I just wish it was brown wood and not black. Is that too small of an area for two chairs? I feel like it is. What about a fireplace? Would it be weird to just have a fireplace here and then some paintings above it? I don't feel like that's totally out of place. So I would love to use the one from like vampires or even this one. I also have this. I'm not crazy about any of the fireplaces really in this game. I say this every time I use them, but it's very true. Maybe we'll go with this. I do I feel like the first one was the best one and I don't even like the first one. All right, let's go with this one. We have these little like decorations for next to it. I don't know what they're called though. I look 
a fireplace will it show up no there's like the little pokey things for the fireplace you know what i'm talking about we have them i think i could totally be making this up an issue i have so often is i confuse things that are in animal crossing with things that are in the sims i always think there's items in this game that are just animal crossing items where are you here they are maybe we can move this door over more and then put that there how's that well is it weird now that this is uncentered i don't care i'm gonna leave it and we're gonna pretend it's okay because i need it to be a little uncentered what if we did the little like brick under here how would that look i think these ones look nice but i feel like they're like, a little too modern but maybe that's okay what else do you put in a hallway we could do more paintings that's about all i've got maybe we could do these from vampires i still think this looks like taylor swift which i think just like goes with the theory that taylor swift is like a, a immortal vampire isn't that a thing this is really empty over here we're definitely gonna have to add some stuff i feel like some wood paneling could possibly look nice we have this nice one from realm of magic which i'm always a fan of if we can go with like a little wood maybe maybe that's a little too busy actually is that weird and then i would have to move the windows up i feel like i don't hate that i don't know i mean maybe as like an accent wall maybe the darker one's not so bad how's that let's find like some plants and stuff some nice paintings to put over here i just don't like that these frames are like they're very red brown and i don't want red brown with this huge one of lad is that too much like what if you do that and then copy it shrink hopefully that's at the same height what if i delete this one and we put bookshelves here we have really nice bookshelves from the crystal creations kit i love it my problem again with the sims is always that things have quirky names and i can never find what they are there we go we need to fix this rug i don't like it i want something different we should be able to sort rugs by like the shape rectangle square circle oval you know what if i did this kind of rug is that fine that's what we've got going on for our hallway now we've got to move on to our next room it's going to be a bathroom and it is one by that'll be a good one why couldn't i get one by seven for the hallway we cannot cheat we've got to follow through here one two three four five six seven we can do a sink here the toilet down here walk down the most menacing hallway to go take a shit take a spooky dookie down the spooky hallway i have ibs every dookie is spooky what i use down here i'm tempted to use this guy it's got the green i also really don't like that this is called the portal potty i don't want to send my business to another dimension i'd like it to stay in this one unfortunately i guess i'm gonna go with that let's get a mirror for here go over someone's house and ask to use the bathroom and this is what you walk into i would leave i would feel like this is a trap i can't really do much here maybe we could put like some lighting do like three of these this is a back room's bathroom for sure why couldn't we get like a a good number why did we get stuck with this let's at least give them toilet paper i feel like if you walk in here you're already concerned then if there's no toilet paper it's even more concerning let's figure out some tile we might as well just go all out and use that right we'll just go with a beige that feels boring you can poop in the poop colored hallway i'm doing this it hurts so much to look at we have to do it oh my god imagine being high and taking a shit in this bathroom i suck at building <laughs> that's how i'm leaving the bathroom i don't think we can put anything else in there because of its unfortunate shape do you want some windows for people to look in while you poop menacing ass bathroom maybe we could put some curtains on the windows it's such an interesting house already that's all for the bathroom let's move on to the next room randomized size we have a nine by eight that's a big room i'll deal with kitchen i'll deal with a nine by eight kitchen that's fine one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight that's a big freaking kitchen well maybe we could do the thing like the kitchen can have a table in it but then the dining room is like a separate fancier area let's figure out how we'll lay this out i would have cried if we got this for a bathroom that may be worse than the one by seven <laughs> tempted to use this i just feel like that's such a good option figure out a fridge tempted to go with this so i go with brown black was a better swatch and then for counters what do we got i think we're gonna use these let's figure out how this is gonna work because this is a huge kitchen we're gonna have to do like an island somewhere I don't like how that looks. I feel like that's weird. I really don't like white cabinets. I do actually kind of like the green. Now I want to change it to green. It's like such a different green than we use for the stools though. So then I have to change them. What can I use here instead? I guess I could do all brown. It's not as dark of a wood, which is unfortunate. I'm not sure I like this, but I'm just going to leave it because we need to get a move on this build. Let's find a light to put over here. Something simple. I guess I could just do two in gold. Okay, let's figure out better our stools. Maybe we can use the cats and dogs. 
I'm going with that. So we're gonna do what I said where we have a kitchen table, but it's not the main thing because we're gonna have a dining room. So the dining room will be the fancy place. This will just be like a small, like a, like a breakfast nook kind of deal. We do something like this from Horse Ranch though. That doesn't feel right for this kind of build. I feel like we need like a long fancy looking table, like Realm of Magic. Not exactly this one. This one's nice. It's not like Victorian. Would that be weird to use in here? It's like very modern. I like the glass one better. It's definitely not like the proper one to use, but I feel like it looks nicer. We'll settle. It's fine. Let's figure out chairs. Maybe we could do the Realm of Magic chairs. I need darker wood, but nicer cushions. What if we did the ones from Vampires? Is that too extra? I kind of like it. And then we can just do like normal chairs around. Why does nothing match in this game? I wish this green was here, but that's not an option. So I think we're just going to go with it anyway. I mean, these match this. I just want the green to tie in somewhere though. I'm just worried that it looked like too modern. And then I want to change these because these are red. Maybe we can go with that. The white. I feel like the green and red is going to look like Christmas if I were to do the red chairs. Let's figure out tile for in here. If I just do like stone, does that look odd? We're just going to carry in the hardwood into the kitchen because I can't really find a tile I like. Find a nice rug for under here now. Tempted to use. Actually, we need it to be like long. My one issue with it is we did use that in the hallway. And I don't know if I want to use it again. Maybe not. Darn. Do we have another oval rug like that that could work? This is giving Bridgerton. I'm not sure I like this coming out this close to it. I feel like we just kind of have to deal with it. We're going to have to have a door that comes off of here. I also think we're going to have an archway because we're going to try and get dining room attached to here. I hope this works well. My issue is I can't move the doors once they're placed, right? Like I cannot go back to the rooms I have finished already. They have to stay how they are. And that includes the doors and windows, which makes this extremely complicated. I'm going to take windows and put them here. I'm thinking a bay window like this. Or is that too small? Maybe we do this one. I'm tempted to use these over this. I like that a lot. I think that's pretty nice with that. And then we can find some nice curtains for around here. Maybe like this. Or should they be floor length? What if I did these? Is that weird? It looks like grand. I think I'm okay with that. Let's also see, am I going to do the same paint color through here? I feel like I should backsplash here. Let's figure out what we'll do for this wall. What if I do that? and then we do change this to what if we do that i'm tempted to not even do a backsplash and just do this all like this what if i use this from castle estate we have this like really dark brown let's see if it looks a little better when we throw a column on here but i do a column here and then we do some of these just to like break this up and make it look like it's like almost two separate rooms i can't really build a wall is that cheating i'm gonna do this here too there we go so it's like kind of closed off i feel like i would walk into that all the time i'm not gonna consider it cheating because I technically didn't keep the wall up. I kind of want to add a little rug in this area, maybe in front of the sink or something I think could be good. This is going to be difficult to find one for here. That green's not going to match. And this like is not the right style, I feel like, but maybe we could just go with it. Maybe we go with this, right? Yeah, I think that's okay. Let's find a centerpiece for here. Maybe a nice plant. I don't hate this. I kind of like that. First of all, just kind of taking me by surprise. Like I really wanted it because I knew I wanted horses and stuff, but I didn't think I would like it this much. There's a lot of nice stuff in here. Would it be weird to do some more bookshelves in here? Oh, I just realized I have a door there, so I can't really have that happen, can I? Okay, so I can do this. I need you to snap there. There we go. So close. Maybe we could do a runner rug here. I still kind of want to put these somewhere, but I feel like it would look really odd. Maybe we could do like paintings over these. Where is the ones of like the building? This. Do you have a brown frame? We could do that. Let's get some plants on these shelves. Hopefully that don't look too modern. I know that's such a weird thing to say. I hope this plant doesn't look too modern. What if I put one like on both sides of the column? That. I'm using a lot of these. <laughs> I just love this plant. What if I do like different colors before I get distracted by this? I need like something to put up here. Maybe we could just throw some like random stuff. Some pumpkins. Everyone likes pumpkins as decorations. They're floating a little bit, but we're going to pretend we don't see that. Right, guys? I feel like the bottom should just be full of books. Maybe we could put like a big seat over here in the corner. I know this is the kitchen, but I'm making the space work for me as best as I can with that like kind of greenish color and then maybe we could put like a tiny rug under there and i'm just gonna try and fill in with books basically okay i'll go with that i'm gonna do the same thing over here okay i'm just quickly placing these here like that all right that's nice see if we have any nice statues to put up here be okay to do this or do you think that's too modern there's got to be 
one that's a little less modern. What about these guys? I'm just trying to decorate quickly so we can move on to the next room. Can you shrink? How small do you get? It definitely clips through the bottom quite a bit, but who's even gonna know? That looks good enough to me. I did want to put like maybe a really tiny little circle rug under here just where like your feet would sit, I guess. Maybe I could shrink this like that and maybe do the cream one. That is it for the kitchen, I think. We did what we could. We tried really hard here. Let's figure out the dimensions for our next room. Hopefully something normally sized. Eight by 10. Eight by 10 and it is primary bedroom. Eight by 10 is fine. I just realized what we did here, the windows, and I can't move them. I can't delete those windows. Why did I do that to myself? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to be able to move this. It's gonna drive me crazy. You can call that cheating. I don't care. That's a really, really big bedroom. This is gonna be hell to roof. Actually, it's not so bad yet. It'll get worse. Oh, I'm so happy that we have a horse ranch now. Right, so I'm gonna do this and then we can do a room divider. Maybe this one. Let's go with that. Let's find some bedside tables. I think we might use the same one we used earlier as a little end table out in that hallway. Go with that, let's maybe throw a lamp on there. See, I used oil lamps before and I'm almost tempted to do that again. That's not bad. And then maybe like nice big painting over that would be good. It's not exactly as big as I was picturing it being, but we can do that one. This is such a big venture. Uh, what do we do with all this space? Kind of put the knight in here somewhere. Here he is. Perfect. Where do I put him? He just feels right in this house, doesn't he? Here we go. I guess we're going to do like a little sitting area in this bedroom, which wasn't really part of the plan, but it's okay. I feel like we're going to probably end up using the same flooring, of course, because what else would I use? Just too good. I love that floor. So I don't really want to do a brown couch on top of that. Maybe we could do this cream. We could put a fireplace in here. Maybe we should copy the same fireplace that we used out here. That seems to be like a good one. So we could do like couch here and let's grab that little decoration from out here. We're probably going to do bookshelves again everywhere, if I have to guess. I haven't put a TV anywhere in this house but it feels wrong to put a TV in this house, right? What painting would look good over this? I need it to be like a horizontal painting. Maybe like that. Maybe we can do like a nice lamp over here. I feel like we're probably gonna end up using that lamp. I also have this fun one from Werewolves, which always reminds me of Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. I actually kind of like this one, the green one. Is it not nice enough for in here? Maybe it's not nice enough. This is like mansion, like a Victorian mansion. Maybe we can use this from Vampires. Kind of like this one better than the Vampires one though, if I'm being honest. So we'll put that there. Let's find a nice chair. See, this would be nice. Wait, is there a Realm of Magic couch that's like that? Because we can use that instead and I think it would look nice. We do. Do I want to go with that though? Or is that too much? I think it's okay. It's a Victorian house. It's kind of supposed to be a lot, right? Let's throw in a coffee table. I might go and grab that same one that we used out here. I like this one a lot. I'm trying to take up so much room here because this is such a big house that's really busy and we're gonna stick with it because i don't know what else to use let's find a rectangle rug for here we'll go with that we need to paint in here and i'm wondering if we should take this same dark wall i think we will it's so empty in here let's throw a tall tree in the corner we can do that maybe one of these over here would it be weird to do more bookshelves i think that's good let's spin for our next room three by four bathroom would be phenomenal please stop 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 <laughs> no not the living room three by four living room the living room's gonna come out the front here or maybe i could do the living room here then Let's figure out how we're gonna make this work i feel like we could just take that green again this isn't a terrible setup i do the couch on one side tv on the other should i put another fireplace to take up that little area i feel like we might as well all right let's do a couch this is so interesting this is very unique if i use the high back one what about the black one the black one's not so bad let's do that i guess we could throw a lamp next to it we can use this, that one, and then like a little end table if I could fit one would be really, really, really cool. Maybe we can shrink down the horse ranch one. I'm gonna use that same plant that we've been using for everything. Watch me get like a 10 by 10 bathroom. I will actually quit. I will scream. I will cancel this entire challenge, delete the recording. It'll never see the light of day. A three by four living room is just an insult, I think. Maybe we can use this painting again. Let's do a TV here. I need something small. So maybe we can do that. That 
that's fine by me. I don't even know what to do with this. Let's get a coffee table. Are they can be able to walk in here if I put that there. I feel like things don't even need to match anymore. I feel like we're past the point of anything mattering. Let's get a rug. I don't even know what's gonna fit in here. A welcome mat. I think I'm gonna use this from Book Nook. Let's go with it. Sure. That's our living room. It's very sad. Let's roll for our next room. First, we do the size. Hmm, a two by ten. I will be fine if it's the entryway. Even a bathroom. I'll deal with. I did say bathroom, but not the primary. Two by ten for the primary bathroom. Goes right here. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna add two that way. This way it's like kind of straight here. There we go. I'm gonna grab that same sink just because it's a good option. I'm gonna grab that mirror. We're gonna put that there. Toilet. We're gonna make this work for us. We're gonna put the toilet here. Now hear me out. We're gonna do a tub on one side of the bathroom like that. Just to spruce it up a bit. Let's build a platform. We might as well make it kind of nice. This view is fine. This looks normal. And then you look this way. Maybe instead of doing that, if I took another one of these and put it here and then we put the counter in the middle, copy the counter from here. Let's put that up against that. And that does not match. I thought that swatch was really going to match. I was wrong. So I guess we're not going to use these sinks, even though I like them a lot. We can go with those. Now the toilet needs to move down farther. Actually, maybe we go like this and then the toilet can be there. It looks like a public restroom. That's a very kitcheny looking sink that I'm about to use. We can at least do some clutter here. I'm just gonna hang this here. It kind of leaves a weird shadow. You're gonna pretend you don't see it though. Do I do hardwood floor through here and then just tile up by the bath? Maybe we actually can use the dark marble. I'm gonna hang these on the door like I typically do. However, since there's so much room, we might as well hang it on the wall. Maybe a nice laundry basket. What if I did that? We can get rid of this and we could take the toilet and put the toilet up here and then we could do a washer machine down that end and maybe that's more normal because then I can do hamper here like this I think this works I think this is good let's do washing machines good idea that looks a lot more normal now that there's something different going on down there and maybe we could even do a divider here to break it up even more something small maybe like that beautiful that was a good idea I don't know if I want to paint like that maybe we could take these this looks like it would smell moldy let's grab the columns as well. We'll copy that to break this up. Just on that side is fine, I guess. On to our next room. Let's see what we get. Let's find the dimensions first. Something good. <laughs> by 10. Another huge room. Let's see what we get. I swear to God, if it's bathroom. Now watch me get like a 10 by 10 bathroom. I will actually quit. I will scream. I will cancel this entire challenge, delete the recording. It'll never see the light of day. You heard us talking about the curse of the hallway bathroom. So now you give us a 7 by 10 bathroom. That's really big. You know what else is great? This is the only door I have left. So it's going to be open into a 7 by 10 bathroom. What are we doing with this? I have a unique idea. Right. What else? What else do I fucking do here? What if we made it into like a bathroom? You know, what? like a literal bathroom. Roman bathhouse and it's just a pool. Is that cheating? I'm just gonna grab that same tile because it worked out well. How did I forget that this was literally an option? I'm tempted to change the floor because it uses black stone and I think we have one that kind of matches well with that. We have this from Vampires, which I think has a black swatch. Perfect. This is so unique. I hate this. I don't think I've ever hated a build more than this monstrosity. Does a bathroom have to have a toilet? It doesn't technically need to. It's a bathroom, not a toilet room. And it has a bath, a rather large one, so I think it counts. This is extravagant. <laughs> this house is really something. And I think that's gonna be our walls in here. I say this house is already a mess. Let's use some random windows in here as well. Why not? And I feel like that's good for a bathroom. <laughs> Let's move on to our next room. I can't wait to see what it is. We only have three rooms left. So let's hope we get a good size and not something ridiculous like a four by ten. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, our entry is a four by ten. Let's see how that goes. I'm gonna do another one of these here. We have a dining room 
and a bedroom left. I don't know where those are gonna connect onto. I'm being so real. I guess if we do the dining room or the bedroom here, we can have it go through there because even if we get bedroom and you have to walk through the bedroom to get to the dining room, who cares? You also have to walk halfway across the house to get from the kitchen to the dining room, but that's another story. How am I gonna roof this thing, by the way? It's terrifying to even think about right now. Let's find a front door. Maybe we do this. I'm tempted to take bay windows and do bay windows here. Is that too much going on? I feel like that's a little too much going on. Maybe we could just do like double windows. I'm gonna grab that flooring. I think I'm gonna take the sofa and put it in here and maybe we can do some more bookshelves because what else would I use to take up all of this ridiculous amount of space we have? Maybe we could do the couch here and we could do a little rug under there. Coffee table, sure. I'm gonna grab that same centerpiece I've been using everywhere just because I really like this. We have a nice little table from Crystal Creations and I think we could put that with a mirror behind it. I'm gonna stick with the default swatch because it's a nice dark color. Maybe we could put a nice lant here. See mirrors. I'm gonna use this one from the bistro kit. Curtains. I don't really know if we should do curtains or not. I do have these. I'm gonna go with it. Maybe we could do something like interesting and have this be raised up. And maybe we can hang out some paintings or maybe even some plants over there. Maybe we can use that again. Maybe we could do that by the front door. We could put this here. I guess we could try and find like a bench or something. That's fine. And then maybe a little rug, like a runner rug or something. I wonder if I shrink this just a bit and then turn it. Does it work as a runner? I think we're gonna do this one that has a little bit of a green to it. Let's do that. Right, I think that is good for in here. Let's move on to our second to last room, which is obviously gonna connect through here. We're really hoping for the dining room here so that the bedroom can connect to the dining room rather than having to walk through the bedroom to the dining room. I didn't really lay this out very well, apparently. I thought I was doing so good. <laughs> we messed up severely somewhere. We have a three by two. That's really small. A three by two dining room. Well, let's see. I feel like I can actually make it work. Let's get that, I guess. And for chairs, let's see. Maybe push this back here and actually move this up here instead. And then put this in this corner and a chair there. I don't know what chairs to use. I think I might go copy the chairs that we used in the kitchen. Use those. Let's grab this same thing as a centerpiece. Maybe a nice painting over it like that. That is our dining room. Maybe I should put a little tiny rug. That's a dining room. Onto our last room and then I just have to do the outside of the house. All we have left is the bedroom. So let's figure out the size for the bedroom. Seven by three. We're getting really unique sizes here. I'm really happy with this. Maybe we can use like one of the new horse ranch beds because I just got horse ranch this morning. We could do the horse ranch mirror in this room. This like here and then maybe we could put a desk down there and a dresser somewhere would be nice. A little rug under this bed would be good. Maybe we'll use this one from Werewolf. And then a desk. We could use this and that fits the vibes. And then for chairs, I guess we're gonna go with this. That's fine. A computer. Just feels very out of place, but it's fine. Also, why does that computer hang off the edge of the desk? That makes me very uncomfortable. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna grab the cheapest desk and then I'm gonna grab the computer. I'm gonna put it on there and then I'm gonna shrink the desk down and then put that there. And let's maybe put a lamp up here. You do the oil lamp again. That's kind of what I've used throughout the whole house. We might as well give this person an easel. Why not? Another rug over here I think would be good just to go under the desk. Just like that. It's fine. Let's grab our flooring to bring into here. And I need big painting over that. So maybe we can grab this ship that we used. Maybe shrink it down just a bit and put it up there as well. Curtains might be good and I think we might use the same ones that we used in this bathroom. And I guess let's paint in here. Maybe we'll use that dark Victorian one again. So that's that. That's a very unique shape and style of our randomized size and room house. Let's do the outside. I'm not even worried about the roof looking good just because the inside is such a nightmare that I don't think it even matters. I'm gonna have nightmares about this house. It looks like a church. Green. That's the way to go. Wow. We did something here. I don't even think it deserves landscaping if I'm honest with you. I'll give it a little bit, but put some trees here just to spruce it up a bit. Get it? I don't think that was a spruce tree, but pretend. Let's try and normalize the shape a bit. I don't know that there's any saving this. I'm gonna try real hard. The way I'm not sure I even care if it's clipping inside tells you a lot about how I feel towards this challenge. Maybe we can fill in with some trees and stuff. That does a good job of hiding that, right? And then some bushes back here just to fill in. I'm just gonna fill in with these, I think. If you just don't look 
back here. You don't see any issues. There's nothing going on back there at all. It's fine. Some nice flowers right up here. We're gonna leave it as this. I will never be doing this challenge again. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys soon. Stay happy, stay healthy. I don't know what part of me thought this was something I would be capable of, but I'm never listening to that side of myself again. I think that's the best for everybody.